welcome to our second assembly of the year on Wednesday, the 12th of January. And we will start with the house points. So we will start with the class trophy and get that up the right way around. So in uh, the winning class this, this week is not primary, it's not middle, it's in fact secondary and the winning class is GB class. Well done GB class for winning the trophy. And the house trophy in third place, the Blues, the Normans, uh, in second place, the Vikings, that's red, and in first place, it's Romans, the Greens, so well done to Romans, so if somebody who is a Roman would like to come and collect the trophy. Now, attendance, so attendance is about who was here, well, this is from the 1st to the 5th, okay, from the 1st to the 5th of, I'm trying to work that one out actually, because that must be December, uh, because it can't be January, but anyway, so here we go, third place green class, 98%, I don't think they'll be winning it this week, next week rather, um, in second place, yellow and NMS with also 98%, but just 0.2 of a percent higher. And in first place, jointly, we have 3C and 10M with 100%. Now, as I say, this must be last term. Um, so things have changed since the holidays, but well done to those classes. And I think we can have, uh, perhaps we can have 3C come and collect that trophy to start with. And then on Monday, it can go over to 10M. Right, uh, without further ado, we will have our first PowerPoint of the year. And uh, thank you again to Mrs. Garrett for putting it together for us. So notice the change. So anybody know what kind of flowers these are? They're tiny little flowers and they come up at this time of year. Sometimes you see them poking their heads up through the snow. Uh, so it's not a sign of spring, but it's a sign that spring is on the way and they are called crocuses. So there we go, crocuses. Look out to see if you can see any crocuses growing in the gardens near you. And you may remember that, let's move on. Oh, no. So we have the helpfulness trophy this week. The helpfulness trophy goes to Mason in MS for helping Mr. Sultana in PE. He put all the gymnastics equipment out and then put it all away at the end of the lesson. Well done, Mason. You can take this trophy home and bring it back again after the weekend. There have been some more helpful people and they are Jason Roberts, Sean Cummings, Charlotte Lizelle, and Mr. Brandle and his class who came to the rescue of Mr. Wright. So last week we had uh, no one to put the chairs and tables out and uh, suddenly all these people came to help uh, Mr. Wright. And so he has wanted me to say a big thank you to all of you for your kindness. So well done for looking out for others. Remember our motto, have a go, try your best, look out for others, and you certainly did that. Now, 
Can you remember what wow stands for? Wow word. W O W. Well, you're right. It's word of the week. And last week's word was hope, wasn't it? And many of you, um, you know, got some sentences with the word hope in and, uh, and it did fantastically well. This week, our new word of the week is curious. And uh, you curious, what does curious mean? Well, it means you might be eager to know or learn something. So a cat is, is cats are notoriously curious. Cats tend to want to find out. They sniff things out, don't they? If you've got a cat, you know that a cat is always about trying to find out what's going on. Dogs can be as well, um, but there's a little saying that says curiosity killed the cat. Um, well, you can work out what that means, but see if you can, after this assembly is finished, see if you, how many of you can actually come up with a sentence with the word curious in. So let's move on to the uh, golden book and to the classes. So red class, all of red class have had a lovely start back, a very difficult time with, with staff off and yet they have behaved well. And they shared their news over the Christmas holidays. And here is Leo who's made this model. So you can see this model here. The instructions are there. He followed these instructions by himself to make the model. So well done to Leo, great work. In green class, again, all of green class have been great, a great start back. And I know uh, some are not well, so we really wish you better soon. Um, so here is something that Jack did using the hope wow word for last week. And he made sure that the words have finger spaces between, and he did that unprompted. So it says, I hope you have a good day. Thank you, Jack, we hope you do too. And Ruby wrote a sentence on her own with the word hope. And it says, I hope the people can feel better. Lovely work, Ruby, well done. Well done to both of you and to all of green class. In yellow class, again, they've been making a great start back to the term and using the wow word hope last week. Now, Ellie came to show me how her writing has improved. So when she first started at Cedar Hall, her writing didn't look anything near as neat as it does do now. You can see even from a distance how neat her writing is. All on the line and spacing between the words and uh, very easy to read. So well done, Ellie. Keep up the good work. Now we've got Mason again. <clears throat> this is the Mason week. Now Mason came to show me some of his work in PSHE. Great work. Um, sorry, not PSHE, he was writing about his holidays and uh, he did that independently. So well done. And MS as a whole have done some great work on their PSHE. So well done to the whole of MS and also to Mason. Now, do you remember the last assembly of term? I gave you some homework. I said, over Christmas, I want you to be helping your parents or carers. And that's exactly what Thomas did. As you can see there, he, uh, he took it upon himself to do the hoovering. Well done. Uh, you can come round to my house and help with the hoovering if you wish, Thomas. Um, so well done to Thomas. All of ML, for some interesting spy gadget ideas. So they are doing a topic on spies by the looks. Here's MP doing some science or maybe it's art because they're looking in mirrors 
And then as you can see here that Johan's doing, drawing what they see in the mirror. And looks like Johan's doing a great drawing now. Well done, Johan. And uh, so all of MP enjoyed looking in the mirror at their features before doing their drawing. And LB have been doing some science work. And here they are uh, doing some science work on sound and how does sound get to our ears and it's all about vibrations and there's a, a tuning fork I should think that John's using and uh, so well done to LB class. Now 3B have been doing some great sewing skills. And I know some of you came to me with photos. Unfortunately, for some reason, those photos aren't in this assembly. We will make sure that we put them in for next week. But they have been sewing in straight lines uh, beautifully and uh, very good, very well done to all of you. And thank you to Mrs. Peters for doing the teaching. Right, in 3C, well done to the whole class for a fantastic start back and great reading in form time. It's really important that we make the most of every minute we have in school. And 3C have been doing just that. So let's, as, we, as I come round in form times, it would be great to see everybody reading, using that time wisely and uh, 3C are leading in that way. So well done to you. GB class, all of GB for settling in after Christmas and being fully focused with your work. Lovely to see uh, some of your work yesterday. Amber in 10S had some fantastic questions and answers as they've been studying Shakespeare. Um, Hamlet in particular. So well done to Tennis and especially to Amber. And 11S, uh, well done to the whole class for coming up for great ideas and topics they want to discuss in reflection time. Um, so that's on Friday. So secondary have reflection time now and discussing how they're going to achieve them. Look forward to hearing about that. Now, January is often about challenges and um, Mrs. Green is presenting you with some challenges. So there is a website called the January Challenge. And if you log on to that, uh, that uh, link there, you will be given a challenge a day. Now, they're not difficult challenge and they're all about being creative. And uh, so we will put this link into the uh, newsletter this week and have a go at some of the challenges. Now, if any of you manage to do some of the challenges, do let your class teacher know. And perhaps we can follow this up in form time and see how many people are doing the creative challenges. Um, so it says here at, at 64 million artists, we believe everyone is creative. When we use our creativity, we can make positive change in our lives and the world around us. So it's all about being creative, all about thinking outside the box. And uh, so I'd be very interested to hear how many people are getting involved with that. I certainly will have a go myself. Right, times table rock stars. Um, so third place, Rohan, second place, Evie, first place, Ilana for the biggest improvement in correct answers. And then the biggest improvement in accuracy, third place, Rohan, second place, Oliver, and first place, Evie. Well done to all six of you 
you will be getting your certificates. So that brings us to the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching. Uh, well done for settling into the term and working hard. Keep up that good effort and look forward to seeing you next week. Welcome to Wat Tyler Park. <laughs>